People hear me talk about spray foam insulation and the problems I have with it, and they think, hey, why do you hate spray foam insulation? And it's not that I have a problem with spray foam insulation, but I have a problem with people who don't know how to install it. And I have a bigger problem with people who don't know how to design a structure to have spray foam installed. As you can see, we have spray foam insulation in this house. And as you should expect, we don't have any spray foam insulation over the garage. The house stops right here. We have no insulation here, but you can see it's installed on the other side of this thermal ply, and then that is the front porch area, which we have no insulation over that either. So we didn't insulate the areas we don't live in. What's the problem? Well, let me show you. We also didn't do anything to ventilate these spaces. They need to have upper and lower ventilation over the front porch and the garage, and we don't have any type of ventilation whatsoever over any of it. And the same thing is happening over the back porch as well. As you can see, we have no soffit ventilation at all. And if I come out here and show you they do have an unfinished section of the roof, but that still doesn't look like anything that's going to get a vent to me, and we don't have any type of ventilation on any side of this roof. And you can see that's the back porch right there, and that's where the insulation stops right there. So that space out there is also uninsulated. So it needs ventilation. Now this next one doesn't really have much to do with the foam insulation. However, it is a bit of an issue in regards to code. This here is a bedroom, and you can see we have the spray foam insulation. They've also supplied air to the attic space that's great but the problem is if we have more than 30 square feet which we really do and more than 30 square inches which we do we need an attic access and we don't have any framed attic access opening i wouldn't think they would want to put it in this bedroom ceiling but they might want to put it in this wall right here one way or another it's got to be there this is the other side of that wall and i would suspect that maybe they will make some adjustments to put an access over here on this wall out to that area and just one more thing before I wrap up this video. What exactly was the thought process here? I mean, this pipe is massive. Going through this 2x6, way overcut. It's about to be punctured by nails. This is not doing the job. At the very least, this needs a stud shoe. That might be difficult with a pipe going through diagonally, but something definitely needs to happen. We need to double up, triple up something because this isn't going to work. You can see it is a load bearing stud and this is not a structural member this is essentially a nail shield no different than this right here but the difference is this has a nail shield on this side and a stud shoe on this side so this is structural this and that are not these are reasons why i highly suggest getting your new construction home inspected especially at the framing stage to make sure this stuff gets corrected before they move on